the way it's been yeah. for the last couple of years. Yeah, it's a good show. Like, yeah. So, we have some more friends that uh, oh, are Excellent. Justin, nice to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, basically, we have those questions and just film a little uh, session here. Okay, did you want us to do the whole demo for you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Okay. Pimp the game. <laughs> Will do. Yeah, this is Max. This is Chris. We're all designers on the agency. And we are uh, happy to show it off. Hi, Tim. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Uh, why don't I bring you over here to uh, check out the screen? That one? This one? Let's go to this one. It doesn't matter. Either one. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you get the one. Yeah, I will. So, the agency. Actually, um, and if you want, we have B-roll that we can give you, which has this entire demo, so you don't have to worry about getting really close to it. Okay. Yeah. You can more film us and then cut yeah, away to idea. it with, uh, with that's fine. the B-roll. So, the agency, let me tell you about it. The agency is an action online shooter. What we mean by that is you're going in just like a first-person shooter or a third-person, shooting things up, you're uh, you know aiming with your gun, it's all about your player skill. Now, on top of that, we've layered some MMO elements. Obviously, Sony Online, it's our forte. We want to make sure that there's a lot of persistence to the world, there's a lot of ways that you can rank up your character, get new items, group up with players, and have a good time. So we're going to go ahead in the game right now. What we're going to show you is a little sample mission that we put together. This is part of a, an epic mission that we have at the end of our Act 1. We're just going to abbreviate a little bit so that, you know, we show it at E3. Um, the first thing you're going to do when you enter the agency, though, is pick which faction you're going to join. And that's really the only important decision that you're stuck with. The two factions that we have are Paragon, the guys on the top up there. Let's switch places to me. They are your, uh, your mercenaries for hire. They're the guys that do all their speaking with guns. <laughs> Um, you use duct tape to hold the guns together. Yeah. Huh. I can tell you're probably more of a, a Paragon guy. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like a cup of tea right there. All right, well, speaking of cup of teas, though, that's more of the British agents. That's a, the United are more of the, you know, the James Bond types. They're the super agents that have, you know, the, the fanciest clothes, the best gadgets. They drink martinis. So after you pick that, you just that's a stylistic which one you want to join. Then you'll go in the game. You'll pick your role. And our philosophy is you are what you wear. So if you want to be a combat guy, you put on that outfit. If you don't want to be a combat anymore, you just change your outfit and now you're in a stealth mode. So uh, Max is going to go ahead and pick uh, stealth, because he likes stealth. Um, if you pick combat, he'd be about uh, taking damage and giving damage. Stealth is about sneaking around, he's got a sniper rifle, and he's got a knockout dart pen. And that allows him to stun some enemies so he can really get in and do silent kills. That's cool. Our uh, support character, which I think Chris is going to be playing over on the PS3 here, has a uh, shotgun for close quarters and common, uh, and a martini bomb, which is a special gadget that when shaken, throws uh, ice all over the enemies and freezes them in place. Also, they are cross platform just like the So we're, we are capable of doing that. Technically, we can do it. We haven't made the final decision on whether we're going to launch that way. Just because when you're in a shooter mode, there's a lot of uh, a game balance questions of, you know, yeah. is it fair to put it on the Yeah, side. exactly. So technically, we can do it. Well, in beta, we'll decide for sure. Okay. So Max has uh, chosen his stealth role. Chris has chosen his role as support. The mission at hand. We've been tracking these enemies for a long time now. DOS Committee. They're uh, former Soviet agents that are defected from Russia and started their own group. They want to bring back the Cold War. And how they're going to do it is they're going to the Swiss Chateau here, owned by the Burger Builders. And those are people that are, uh, you know, world influencers. They uh, meet every year to come up with uh, some ideas on how to make the world a better place. In this case, however, the world's not going to be a better place because DOS Committee's in town. So our uh, two agents here have uh, teamed up together, and that allows them to share their objectives with each other. Meet up with our contact inside They're heading to meet up with their contact. So very much like uh, an MMO, as people can be comfortable with it, uh, there are uh, question marks over the heads of your uh, quest, uh, your mission participants. Yes. And you also can see his objective on the radar. We want to make sure that the players can easily find all their primary objectives and get to where they're going. Your secondary and your bonus objectives might be harder. You might have to explore around for them. So we're going to go talk with Ian. And Ian is telling us that we can't get through the front door. Unfortunately, we don't have the right credentials. So if we want to get in, we have to sneak around the back way and not set off any alarms. 
And this is where more of the stealth roll that Max has chosen comes into play. We're going to go around the corner here. And when we get down there, the first thing we're going to do is see if we can hack into their own security to find out what, what we're up against. So Max has found a little uh, panel over here that lets him into the security cameras. So in doing so, you can see what challenges are ahead. And here we can see there's some laser fields. There's some enemies that are patrolling through this area. But before we get anywhere, we're going to have to get through the security gate. So throughout the agency, we want to make sure there's a number of mini games that you play. You want to make sure there's all kinds of different things you're doing other than shooting. Now shooting is the most important component of our game, so that's going to you know be a lot of fun and and what you're doing most of the time. But throughout the game, you'll be uh, hanging back, doing some mini games. This one, go ahead, Max. Um, it's a simple uh, matching of symbols with your uh, D-pad. Now, if he fails to do it, poison gas is going to come out and damage him. It won't kill him. Well, unless he keeps failing over and over again. But it will slow him down. So, as you can see now, the laser fields are down and our agents are getting ready to go through, go through the area. Max is all set up with that poison dark pen I was telling you about. They will knock out the guy for a short amount of time. And hopefully give him just enough time to get in there and, and quietly take him down. So you can see he's hanging back just a little bit. Because if the enemies do see us and the alarms go off, he's going to want to hit one of these panels to stop the alarms. These are also a turrets that will come up. More AI will come out. And it'll be a bad situation all around. So he's a support person. He's support. He could be trying to sell through this himself, but he's at a little disadvantage because he doesn't have a gadget like the, the knockout there. So you'll notice that one of the things Max is doing is he's crouching to get through the area. And that's because we want to make as little noise as possible. The enemies can see us and hear us, or if they do, they'll set off the alarms. Yeah, yeah. We're also trying to pay attention to our radar to see where the enemies are and what direction they're facing. Now, if you're the type of guy that just hates stealth encounters, you hate having to sneak around, that's you, right? Boom! You just like shooting. All right, we have a bonus objective that says if you don't set up any alarms, you'll get an extra reward. If you don't care about that reward, pull out your gun and just start blowing things away. It's more important that you have a good time shooting than you're stuck doing something you don't want to do. But if you really want the reward and you hate stealthy, Bring a friend who likes stealthy, <laughs> let him get through this part, and then you can lead in the next part. Okay, sounds good. Well, it looks like we got through the uh, infiltration encounter, and our objective right now is to sneak in through the uh, back door of the chateau. So there's the entrance we have to 